few more hot days. Now, back to our top story. Antigonist police are investigating the disappearance of the real estate executive John Miller's 18-year-old daughter. She was last seen walking home from school this afternoon. some books. I'm not really sure what you're into, so um, this one's Tom Sawyer. It's one of my personal favorites, actually. This one, it's just a bunch of fairy tales. I don't know if you'd really like it. Uh, but if you're into fashion, in style, my wife, she used to read them like crazy, so if you finish this one, I have a whole stack in the house. Uh, I brought you some food as well. not really sure if you're hungry. That's a doozy. I'm sorry, you were gonna... I, I had to keep you quiet somehow. I'll get you something to put on it, okay? But uh, hey, you got me pretty good, so I guess that kind of makes us even. Look, I'm gonna untie you, but I will say that the nearest neighbor is, you know, a few kilometers away, so I, running's not a good idea. And I don't want you to scream yourself hoarse, so just, I wouldn't do that either. Um, it gets pretty cold in here at night, so I'll grab you some blankets. And I, I made myself a sandwich too. I could, I could come in here and eat it with you, or I could eat in the house. It's, I don't know what you wanna. I, I, I don't, I don't. Yeah, it was, you know what, I'll just, I'll leave you alone. Um, so. Bon appétit. possession. Do not worry, she is fine. I want $100,000. 
45,000 in 50s, the rest in 20s. You may tell your wife, but no one else. No cops, I will know. Do not fuck with me. I will be calling you soon. Hal King? Yeah? Detective Marconi. Would you mind if I stepped in for a few minutes? We could have a little chat? Whoa, is this some kind of problem, Detective? No need to be jumpy. I'm investigating the kidnapping of uh, Miss Miller. You probably heard about it on the news. No, I can't say that I have. Really, you haven't? Mm -hmm. oh, that's okay. Um, hey, look, I hate to be a bother, but I could really use a glass of water. Do you mind if I step in for a few minutes? No, not at all. Come on in. Great. Make yourself at home. I'll grab you that glass of water. Thank you. There you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, shit, it's hot, eh? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. You mentioned something about a kidnap? Yeah. So this kid came in and he was talking about how he saw this gray van um, parked on the side of the road, you know, up by the dairy farm. And he was saying that he could hear two voices, a man's and a woman's, and they were screaming at each other. They're screaming and they're screaming. And then the voices stopped like this. And then the van sped off. Um, I mean, naturally, you could see how coincidental all this is. Obviously, the kid didn't get a plate or I wouldn't be making the rounds. So I'm hoping that after today, I can write you off as a suspect. You catch my drift? Yeah. All right. So we have you down as the owner of a gray Honda Odyssey. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that's true. Nice. Is it here? Yes. Can I have a little look-see? Sure. Great. All yours. You drive by that dairy farm ever? Oh, once in a blue moon. Yeah. Probably not for the last five or six years though. Oh? Not since they put the highway in at least. Most folks I'd say. Say, how'd you get that cut on your hand? Oh, uh, neighbor's dog. Mm -hmm. Got a little excited. <laughs> Guess you never know when danger's lurking right around the corner, huh? I can say that again. Well, sorry to have been a bother. I appreciate your time. That's it? Yeah, that's it. I didn't find anything in the van. I never do. Most kidnappers are going to be smart enough to deep clean the vehicle after the fact, don't you think? Yeah, I, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I don't have to see you again, Mr. King. I guess there's always that chance, huh? You take care. You too, detective. Fine. Fine. I'm putting her on. It's your daddy on the phone. Now you're going to tell him about how good I've been treating you, right? Don't mention anything about the lip.
Dad? Yeah, fine. No, he hasn't, I promise. Listen, Dad. You'll pay him, won't you? You'll give him what he's asking. And then I can come home. Mom's there. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. Tell him no authorities. Right? No cops. Can he hear me? <laughs> give me that. Did you hear what I said? Good. Should be at the river Sunday. You got it? And no cops. No fucking cops, or I'll know. And this will be the last time you ever hear her voice. Come on, come on. He's taking me. Come on. I brought you some of my wife's old makeup. I want you to see what you can do about that lip. Do you understand me? Or we are not going to see your daddy. Okay? I'm staying here and be quiet. Detective. Mr. King. Is this a bad time? No, not at all. I'm just getting dinner ready. Is there some problem? Is there something I can help you with? No problem. I just wanted to have a little chat with you. Uh, it'll only take a couple of minutes, real quick. Is it okay if I come in? Sure, yeah, of course. But I really don't think I'll be any help. I've already told you I don't know who Claire Miller is. Actually, I'd never even heard the name until you came by the other day. You mentioned something about a kidnapping story on the news or something. And to be honest with you, I just don't watch the news anymore because it just makes me way too angry. Huh. Is everything all right, Detective? I need to make a call. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? Why don't you come down to the kitchen? I have to keep an eye on dinner anyway. Hands above your head! Spread your feet. Okay, good. Now, face the wall. Hal, where is she? Stop! You don't have to do this! Stop! See your daddy. We can get away. You know what? I'll, I'll put the gun down. I'm gonna put the gun down, okay? Come on, just give me your hand. Claire, just take my hand and come with me. Claire, no!